Okay, so now we've cloned the repository. I'm going to go ahead and jump more into Android Studio. So clone that down and go over here. All right, so when you clone it, you're going to see something like this. Just make sure everything's clean. Uh, I'll get check out. Well, I'll just get clean this up real quick. All right. So what I've done is I've used different branches to kind of show the logical progression of this different or this pattern. So if you first just do a git checkout, um, the branch you have to check out the branch one. Um, let's move it into the first branch, and then I can go ahead and show you. Where it'll update in Android Studio for you, and I'll walk you through the first part. So what we see here is we just have an activity. And if you look at my manifest file, it's super small. It just has one activity that's called login activity, and that's our launcher. And then the login activity looks like this. Um, if you haven't seen Inject View before, you should check out uh, Butter Knife by Jake Wharton. And basically, what it does is instead of writing find by ID everywhere, you can just inject them in, like I'm doing right here. And our activity uh, looks like this. It's a very simple UI, no styling, nothing special. An email and a password and a submit button. Okay, so that's the first branch. It's kind of our starting point. And you'll see I have this interface. And what we're going to do in the next one is we're going to um, implement this interface, which has some methods. And this will be what we use to reference as our view in the MVP architecture. All right, so let me check this out. So I check out two, and then I go back, and you'll see all these update, and this I login view update as well. And I'll, you'll see what we've changed on login view. All right, so let me walk you through this. So on create, we still inject our email and our password edit texts. Inject those right here with butter knife. And then I'm pre-filling the email and password so I don't have to type it in over and over again. And then what we do is we create our present presenter right here. And this presenter is what's going to be, like I said, where we pass off our events as quickly as possible. And so we create a presenter, it's called a login presenter, and we give it a reference to this. And this, what we're talking about, is actually anything that implements I login view. So this is our interface. Looks like that. So if we go back. Right, we pass in our presenter. It's the first step. And then in our constructor of our presenter, we get a reference to the view. And then we also um, create our, our interactor or our model, right? I'm calling it a model because it's uh, I'm calling it an interactor here because uh, that's kind of what I use to wrap up my models and to have it do the uh, like take care of like the use case. It's kind of a use case object, which once again goes back to Uncle Bob's architecture, the clean architecture. All right, so then our we're gonna have in our presenter we have a reference to our view and also a reference to our interactor. And let's just look at this interactor to kind of show the rest of it. And here I have the most um, secure validation that can ever be done. And that's is just make sure that the username has Gmail in it. So like a, this is obviously for demonstration purposes, but it shows you that the logic for how I could do a validation over here is held really, really far away from the actual activity. And so let's go back in and look at whenever the user interacts. So this is the user event, and if we follow what we said before, then the moment that you that the user interaction is finished, so after the user clicks login tapped, then we get the strings, we get the email, we get the password, and then we pass it immediately to the presenter, and we don't do any more logic. And then if we were to follow this presenter, 
Um, you'll see he has the attempt login, which then calls the interactor, which goes into here, and then it'll return, return true or false. And then here in the presenter, if it's true, if the and if the um, if it does have valid credentials, if it is valid, then we call back on our view, which we have reference to from here, and we say navigate to the list activity. Else, we're going to call login failed. And so that's kind of a, a big or a high level. Actually, let me keep let me go show where this view comes back. So in here, these are those two methods that. Um, for navigate to list activity and login fail. So that's the a high level over, overview of the uh, pattern. But one thing that you'll notice that I really like is that the login activity, it knows only about the views and the presenter. If you look through here, um, I mean, we say, see a presenter here, we see references to the views, and then we see a reference to changing the state to show a toast on the view. But it doesn't know anything about how it's being validated and it doesn't need to. Because right when you click validate, you pass it to here. And then we pass it to our interactor to validate the credentials. And this guy has no clue, like there's nothing in here that references where, which view it's talking to. So there's a nice separation right here because of that um, presenter that we have. So that's a, a very simple example and um, a synchronous example of how to use Android MVP.